human race. Adam stood under the tree and said, What happened to our garden? Was it something we did? I'm not sure, replied Eve. But this time let's share our fruit. And in a bountiful world there is a race against time. And man wants to win, whatever the cost. There's only so much to go around, warns a mother, who with a hungry child she watches to see who wins the race. One she is not running, but feels she is destined to lose. Man in his competitive world cannot see her. He can't even feel her. But he must own her pain, because they are one, and his choices help create her fall, or her fun. His hurdle awaits him over the finish line. Perhaps then he'll confront the truth he left behind. And the animals run a race that they don't understand because they exist as one part of a whole in a world where winners and losers aren't real. The gorilla speaks up. We know who we are. We don't ask, what can I be? We don't question our life, says the panda. We don't ask, what's in it for me? The tortoise looks up and says, just let it be. The future is there for all of us to see, eventually. And as our audience applauds that our man is winning, blind as they are to the nonsense in that, for our losers are generally the wisest amongst us. They have suffered to see the value in all that we have. And the original thinkers dig holes and plant trees in living memory of animals gone. Our actions acknowledge the imaginations we have to create a world which is love, which is held, one of fun. And in a stadium which once bore the forest, the seeds of all life, the garden, our home. Where termites live in a world of connection, cooperating and raising their children as one. Their flag shows not division, but one home we cannot own. Can we share with them that fact? Then gone will be the fight, and we will share once again a garden of light.